I don't know if you can see a trail going on. It doesn't go on. It goes up. This little stream here. Okay, it's a windy day. Unfortunately, the wind is going the other way than yesterday, so we got to do a headwind battle over to the portage. But before the portage, we're gonna go to uh, one of the beachy sites on the other side, and we're gonna do the, the swim on, cool down a bit, because unlike yesterday, our portages today are now longer than our paddling distance. How many? Four and a half kilometers. Four and a half kilometers, something like that. So we're going over to smooth water, and then we're gonna go down the Lady Evelyn River. Blue. Sunny one. Sunny one. Oh yeah, sunny one. We're on smooth water. <laughs> and then we're gonna stay somewhere on uh, the river somewhere. Or maybe a, a small lake or something. But yeah, it's quite windy. So uh, we're gonna get going, get to that beach. Have some chillax time before probably some of the toughest portages of our life. <laughs> The wind wasn't as bad as we thought it was, but there's definitely bigger swells and more white caps than yesterday, even though there's more wind yesterday. So kinda weird. Just went in for a swim. The sand here is super soft and there's like no rocks, so you can just walk wherever. Definitely camp here for a couple days, but gotta keep moving, keep going around. Today's our halfway point on our trip. Once we go as far as we go today, we're, we're committed. It, yeah, it doesn't matter. We gotta go all the way around or go back the way we came. Chillax and paddle. Keeping the toesies dry before the first portage just up here. A little 90 meter. meters. Oh look there's the end. <laughs> okay. It's going around this little rapids. This is the campsite that's next to it. Wow, it's got a oh, God, it's got a table. It's got a table. So we're at the portage, we think. There's a no no something sign up on the tree. So no fishing. No fishing. Well, we don't have fishing rods, so that's not a problem. <laughs> it's a pretty lake. Got a rock. Big rock face there. Not too bad right now. <laughs> Wait for it. Barely gone anywhere. Already walking on water. Mmm. <laughs> More. Oh my goodness. It's gonna take longer than I expected. I can't see it. The camera doesn't show. Height change, but we're going uphill. <laughs> the end of the portage. Oh, come on. Big uphill climb. Must have a nice paddle afterwards. Yeah. To right there. <laughs> Jeez. Well, that's a pretty view. Oh. 
happy we're not going over top of that thing. Just to add insult to injury. Straight up hill, a boulder garden. <laughs> I don't know if you can see a trail going on. It doesn't go on. It goes up. My goodness. This is a staircase. Jessica says she doesn't do well with uphills. I don't think anybody does. Oh. Yeah. Talk about going up the side of a mountain. Jeez. Okay. Keep going. This little stream here. Oh. Slippery stream. Oh. I'm good. Among me, they say, adventure it will be. Oh, yeah, quite adventurous. Trails flattened out a bit. There's the end. Oh. It's hard, but we made it. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm sweating profusely. It's so hot in the woods, there was no wind at all, and it's like 30 degrees. leaving the canoe here for a second because this next little tra uh, trail here goes uh, straight uphill <laughs> and there's a blowdown halfway through so see if I can walk over it take it off or you can attempt to walk over and I'll just steady the canoe for you. Okay, um, so come up to the log as close as you can. You have it? Huh? You have it? I have it, yeah. Pull it up. It's stuck on the yoke and the camera mount. Me. Really needs to stop doing this to us. Oh my goodness. Straight up hill. Thank you. 
Hoping this smooth water actually this time. Sunny water. Sunny water? I think I'm going insane. Tamagi me is making me go insane. That was weird. Amazing. He put the canoe in the water. There's like a rock. There's, well, there's a bunch of rocks there. I thought it was gonna hit it, but I guess it's deeper than that. <laughs> so clear. This is weird. There's nothing you know, that's growing. Usually those trees would be covered in algae, but maybe there's a small film. Special algae that grows in the acidic water. It's so weird. Interesting little campsite here. It's actually has a grill. Big blowdown at one point. Hopefully it didn't happen when there's campers here. <laughs> that would have been terrifying. We're making lunch. Got some uh, summer sausage. It's so good. Oh, a lot of salt in it, which is what we need right now. Ordinary baby bell pepper, or not peppers, baby bell uh, uh, cheese. <laughs> I guess wheels, mini wheels, tiny, tiny mini wheels. And then uh, two of these guys. We just slice up some meat, put it on, throw it in our mouths. It's, it's really good. Filtering acidic water. I wonder what it will taste like. Tastes caramel, I guess. It's definitely cooler than the water that was in there before. <laughs> We're off. Got a couple extra passengers with us, I guess. We are on the 380. So we're on this little beaver pond area. I think there's actual beavers in it because I saw some beaver too. And uh, yeah, it's a cool fact is we're eating this right. Uh, sunny water, this lake and the next lake are the highest lakes on a canoe route in Ontario. Um, in Ontario or in Tomogamy? Maybe in just in Tomogamy. Yeah. But the, they're, we're at the top of Tomogamy right now. <laughs> well, we were yesterday, but on water this time. So we're at the next portage. A little portage marker on the tree over there. We think it goes up into there. But that over there looks so appetizing, it doesn't actually go anywhere. So, the beavers have made some work for us. Hole in the forest. It's always a hole in the forest. 
Oh, welcome to Junction Lake. You can either go over here, which is where we're going, or over here, or over here where we are right now. Coming up on the longest portage of the trip. And, uh, it might be a bit buggy guessing out being swarmed by black flies and just every fly in general. Um, so, we brought along two different, same brand, but two different kinds of insect repellent. One has DEET, and then the other one has, how you say it again? A keratin, I think. A keratin. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray DEET on my left hand, and a keratin on my right hand, and I'm gonna see if it actually works or not. So in the name of science, I sacrifice my hands for, I don't know what. <laughs> so, two sprays and a rub. Two sprays and a rub. So we'll see if they land on top or not. Um, yeah. Wipe the extra off. Definitely doesn't uh, burn your nostrils like DEET does. <laughs> I'm hoping that it's a lot less uh, hard on like clothing and, and like if you're wearing a watch, it's plastic or something, you can spray on DEET and it can start to, the plastic can start to literally melt to you, so. We'll see. See if it works. Looks like this portage has a name. The what to what? The amble to gamble. The amble to gamble. This isn't too bad. It's hard on the hips though, on the knees. Going downhill now. No steep drop offs this time yet. Thanks for the tape. Oh, I think we're at the end of the portage. It's very pretty here. Lots of bugs though. Flagging tape over there. You can see water there. Yeah. Looks like a swamp. Sounds like a swamp. It is a swamp. Don't really know where to go from here. Also some interesting weather moving in. Might be an issue in a little bit. I'll put the GPS out and see where that other portage is. So after some GPS investigation, we discovered that we're well beyond the end of the 2000 whatever meter. And we're right next to the 300 meter. It's the lake. Oh my goodness. That was a long one. Ooh. And mud. The last portage of the day. That's the last one. The last one. <laughs> really good. 40 meters though. That's it. Just around this little swift here. It's too shallow. We can see rocks popping up. So. Maybe in a 
tough for canoe. <laughs> Nice here. <laughs> so we just got to this site that's on the Lady Avalon River. It's uh, on a peninsula and it's unoccupied. Stay in here tonight. We're done. <laughs> We're physically and mentally done. So to recap what happened uh, back to the portage where I put Deet on one hand and Icaridin on the other hand, uh, both performed the same. I did find that the bugs landed on the Icaridin and then when they went to bite, they're like, oh no, I'm out of here, this is gross. Whereas the deep, they'll, they'll come by and they'll just kind of like, we're on, like, they'll get a whiff of the fumes kind of thing. Um, so it's probably better for your, like, your kids and that kind of thing. But if you need hardcore, like you're in some serious, uh, you know, mosquito country or anything like that, then I recommend the deep. But Icarin is great. It doesn't, like, it doesn't smell at all and it, it's still working like I was sawing wood and stuff and that's usually when they come out and attack you um, they didn't they attacked everything but my two like my hands so I quite liked it I also put it like on my face and my neck and it didn't burn anything like DEET does so I'm happy with it I'll use it more often especially on my face because DEET in your eyes is like oh Like that bag, it smells so good. Uh, meat. Let's see if it, uh, if we can keep it simmering and not burn anything to the bottom and uh, for it to not fall because losing this meal would be a heartbreaking scenario. Put them in the last five minutes so they don't get mushy. Complete with uh, tobogamy seasoning. A little bit of pine needle. A little bit of uh, dirt. Did get a little bit of burning at the very bottom, but only a few pieces got touched by the burn, so. Ooh, hot. Thank you. It's a full plate.
Well, I am one hungry person. <sighs> After that last portage today. <sighs> Brutal. Brutal. Mm. So good. Everything tastes better in the woods. We have a turf war going on here. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Or she. Show us what you found. Nice uh, hard hat out here. Someone must have forgot it. It was just over sort of by the flat spot where we put our tent. There's nothing wrong with it, but I could tell. I mean, we don't do white water, but no cracks or dents or holes or anything like that. All the straps are there, so yeah. Thinking we might take it with us and, I don't know, post online or something, see if we can find who it belongs to. And if not, I don't know. We have a helmet. Oh. It's so hot in here. <laughs> but it was a hard day. So tomorrow will be an easy day. You can hear the whine of the mosquitoes. Oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a good day, I think. As long as we don't get downboard on. Uh, underneath this tree for some cover. <laughs>